When you go deeper into the beautiful unknown of the underwater world and rely on your power, oxygen, and navigation, electrical design plays a big role. In SolidWorks, we bring multidiscipline engineering into one ecosystem. Creating electrical information for a SolidWorks part does not need to be a long, drawn-out process. Adding connection points in SolidWorks became easier. They can be done inside SolidWorks by going to Tools, SolidWorks Electrical, where you can select Create C-Point with Manufacturer Part. In this dialog, it remembers the last manufacturer part that was used, or you can browse and select a different manufacturer part from an extensive library. The terminal list shows the list of connection points that need to be added. Selecting a point or an edge in SolidWorks updates the table, and selecting OK will add these terminals to the part. Going back to Tools, SolidWorks Electrical, Create C-Point with Manufacturer Part, reveals what terminals already have been placed with the remaining list to do. The ability to select the point or an edge in SolidWorks, to add the connection point with table updates, allows you to quickly create electrical components right in SolidWorks. Less time creating parts and more time designing. How would you protect the junction between contacts and wires to eliminate electrical failures? Back shells are used, and SolidWorks now supports them. Two harnesses from the battery to the control panel and external plug are created in SolidWorks Electrical Schematic. In SolidWorks, these two harnesses are routed. Now that the routes are in place, you can address the wires and contact protection. Adding back shells to the connectors removes the stress between contacts and wires. Back shells are available in Design Library, Routing, Electrical, Inline Components. A 45-degree spin coupling was used and mated to the connectors. One more connector with a back shell will need an adjustment of the harness to go through the back shell. Edit the harness that is in red and select the body of the back shell. From the right mouse button, choose Edit Route Alignment. Select the spline of the harness and then the axis of the back shell. Efficient use of back shells during design will protect the junction between contacts and wires, eliminating downstream manufacturing delays and costly redesigns. Creating harness drawings and tables manually takes time and can be error prone. Flatten Route in SolidWorks automates this process and now supports back shells. Flattening this red harness will include back shells along with the harness and connectors in its 3D position and will show them in appropriate locations. In the Flatten Route dialog, choose what detail of documentation you will need to include, like Manufacturer, Display 3D Connectors, and Checkmark for Drawing Options. Choosing OK does produce the harness drawing with connectors, back shells, tables, and callouts automatically and saves time for engineers to tackle other technical challenges. The SolidWorks ecosystem lets you quickly create electrical information for components, add and manipulate back shells for contact and wire protection, and create flattened harness drawings that include back shells.